E-commerce as a new normal is a, is a great theme for our conference. It's a really wonderful opportunity to spend some time with other posts, sharing best practices, uh, addressing what we're going to do in the world of e-commerce. Fundamental shift the way that people are shopping today, and we need to be right in the middle of it. The e-commerce market is growing phenomenally, and it can continue to grow. There's a few things we need to do, though. Number one, you have to be affordable. The two key words in e-commerce are free shipping, so you got to be affordable. You have to be visible. Customers like to track those packages from the time they order till the time they get delivered. The shipping customer does too because knowing where a package is keeps the cost down in call centers and keeps the satisfaction levels high. On-time delivery is critical too. If you promise it's going to be there in two, two days or three days, it better be there in that time frame. And you got to be responsive to customers. That's why we've introduced seven-day package delivery real-time delivery information. This summer, we're going to be able to tell customers when a package is within 15 minutes of delivery to their house. You also have to be flexible in terms of pickup and returns, critical for growth. The biggest challenge in the e-commerce space today is competition. Uh, there are some great world-class delivery firms in there, a lot of new entrants. So if the posts are going to be successful, you got to be ready for this competition. Speed's the name of the game. That's what customers are looking for. We've got to make sure that those packages get delivered, whether it's across the country or across the world, in the speediest time uh, possible. And to do that from an IPC perspective, we've got to work together. Let's take advantage of the ESIP process. Let's take advantage to make sure that we remove as many barriers as we can, improve our service, and improve our visibility. It'll be a win for us. It's going to be a big win for the customers. I think the key issue in terms of the IPC over the next few years is remain flexible. There's a a lot of change going on in the market. Uh, less mail volume and a lot more package volume and we've got to make sure that we stay flexible in order to meet the market needs and stay ahead of them. We've got to understand the markets, where they're going, what customers are looking for. I think the other thing that's important is to continue to encourage cooperation across everything that we do. We do that, we're going to have a win for the posts and more importantly for our customers. I think the other thing we have to make sure is that we do not take our eye off the fact that speed of execution is going to be critical. We've just got to keep moving as quickly as we can to stay ahead of the markets, stay ahead of the customer needs so that we exceed those customer needs going out into the future.